So let's get into it. In the previous video, we had written uh, our first unit test, which was a get all record success, where we had uh, where we understood how uh, when and then return works by Mockito. Uh, how does how do we do a request builder and set up our get uh, mock request? And we also see what to expect back when we do an expect from our application. In this video, uh, we will uh, write the unit test for get book by ID and see how that works out for us. And uh, let's get started. Let's uh, see how we can write it for ourselves and see how this, this is going to go out. We do as a rate test, uh, same old. We do a public void get book by ID. And again, it's going to be a success throws exception. And now uh, let's see how do we do this. So now instead of uh, doing it that way, let's do it another way of uh, you know, implementing this. Let's directly start with the Mockito method. So Mockito dot when and the method call is going to be book repository dot find by ID. And the ID is basically going to be record one dot get book ID. Now, once this is done, uh, when is done, we do a then return and we are returning an optional book. So a simple way to return an optional book uh, would be to directly uh, wrap the record into an optional. So the way to do that is Java util optional of record one. And that way we have mocked our uh, we have mocked this particular uh, stub where we have mocked book repository find by id book id get dot get and now uh, we will always get the record one as the return value whenever we call this inside this particular test method the next thing uh, which we do uh, as we know is pretty straightforward we have our request matcher uh, i'll uh, quickly uh, swim through this so that you know we can save up on time and it is pretty straightforward and similar to how it was. So we don't have to worry about it. Uh, as you can see, uh, we do uh, a mock request builder to get slash book slash one because uh, one is the book ID for this. We application JSON status is okay. We do another check here. Instead of checking the size, we can just check whether uh, this is not null so that then it has something inside. The JSON has something inside it that tells us that then it was not null. And the next thing would be uh, to check the name. And the name should be Atomic Habits because that is the first record, Atomic Habits. And that way we should automatically know whether the test passed or not. Pretty straightforward, uh, nothing complicated here. Uh, very straightforward to the point. And let's quickly run the test and make sure that our both the tests are running properly. So yep, as you can see, this one also ran perfectly because we had auto we uh, intended it to be running you know successfully. So we had mocked the find by ID. We performed a get request emulator and we expected the response as we wanted it. So these were successful. And now let's actually write the tougher ones, uh, which are kind of tough to write, not uh, exactly tough, but a bit convoluted for create book record. So let's see how this is going to look like. We do a test public void create record success. Now this uh, is an interesting uh, test because first we need to create a book record. The second thing would be to mock save, uh, which is basically save method. And then we want to, when we do a post, uh, we want to make sure that the content is in the form of a string and then we perform our request. So a bit, on, but we will, uh, you know, make this code, um, we'll modularize this code to make sure that, you know, we understand everything that is happening inside it. So let's start. First, let's post, let's create a record to post. Okay. So we'll do a book record equal to book dot builder class. And we can use the builder class for a lot of things. So first let's do 
book ID, which is going to be 4L. Uh, next is going to be the name. Uh, let's say the name is introduction to C. Next is the summary. The summary is going to be uh, the name but longer. And next is going to be rating 5, uh, obviously, dot bit. And this way we have a record which we can post now. Next thing would be to mock our uh, repository method which is save. So let's quickly mock it. So mockito dot when. And what do we do here? So when book repository dot save uh, and we are saving our record, then return the same exact record. And pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, mocking scenario here. Next. Uh, instead of you know writing our request builder here, let's actually you know uh, write this separately and then uh, do a perform. So what do we do here? What do I mean by that? So what we are going to do here is we are going to build a mock HTTP servlet request builder. So mock HTTP servlet request builder, which is going to be a mock post request, and this request is going to have mock we see request builders dot post. So they have everything handy for post and we are posting to slash book. Pretty straightforward. The content type is going to be media type application JSON, right? The next thing is going to be what we accept. So once we do a post request, we are uh, returning back a JSON to the client as well, right? Because if you see here, once we create a book record, we are returning back a book exactly as we are returning back a JSON here. So we are accepting a media type as application JSON. The next thing that we are doing is passing the content or the request body basically. So the content is going to be, well, content and that we need to actually uh, implement. So we can't directly pass uh, a Java object, a, a, a Tojo, plain old Java object to the content, but it has to be uh, converted to a JSON. Here, this was handled by Spring Boot for us, but uh, with these annotations, but here we need to manually address that. So for that reason, we have uh, the object mapper and writer here. So how we quickly do this is we do string content which is going to be object writer dot write value as string and the value which you want to be written as string is record now this will convert the plain old java object to a content to a string and then we pass uh, the content inside here and now we have a mock request ready to be sent now the next part is similar to performing that post request right so how do we perform the post request? We do a mock MVC dot perform. And what are we performing? The mock request that we just implemented. The next thing would be to expect what when we perform a post request. We do an and expect. This is going to be a boilerplate. So status dot is okay to make sure that it was successful. Second is and expect uh, the JSON part to be null. So we can copy this from here. And we can also copy this from here. So let's copy it out and let's quickly paste them. Uh, the only change here would be the name. So the name has changed to introduction to C. This also needs to be introduction to C. And this is how we write a post request. So we will go through this again, but let's quickly first run the test to make sure that the implementation is correct. And then we can talk about what we don't we actually learned in this particular uh, video. So, so far, so good. We have the information and the test has also passed. Great. Let's see the logs. Okay. So here, uh, as you can see, we are doing a post request. Uh, we see that we are reading application JSON. And for this particular string, 
and we see what's supported by the uh, writing or doing a post we get back to 100 and we then evaluate the path of the json so here uh, we did not go through this approach uh, because we wanted to uh, abstract out or you know make our code look better and more readable so first we created a book record using the builder builder uh, method inside our record so if you go inside book you see the builder annotation that helps us uh, make a uh, create an object quickly using the builder method next would be the mockito when and then which we have talked about in the previous video as well where we uh, make sure that whenever we mock an object we return back uh, the when we mock a class and method we return back the object next thing as we are passing doing a post request we need to send the request body in the form of a string and we uh, achieve that using an object writer and finally we create our mock request and then perform the request and expect the values back so let's quickly run uh, all of them again uh, just to make sure that everything is nothing has you know we didn't break anything because each each test has to be independent of itself it should not it should not be stateful uh, because the unit test it should be the smallest unit which you can test and they should never ever interact with each other so as you can see all the three of the tests pass none of them have anything in common other than the controller which you are testing and this is how we write our test for the create book record uh, method the next would be the update book record method which will be similar to create but we'll see how that works out so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.